So we're moving into Libra's energy. You're very welcome. It's a pleasure. Okay, Libra, let's see what's available for you. Okay, first card, Libra. Five of Swords. When I see the Five of Swords, it's almost like there's a wrestle of the mind. So you could be feeling like your mindset is going in quite a few directions. You're having to think about a lot of things at the moment. Um, and, but it's almost like um, it's quietly done. It's not, some, it's not something people can see or they uh, see within you. It's more something that you're, you're having to deal with yourself. So let's see what this is. Moon. Yeah, there's things that you're keeping to yourself or there's things that you're wanting to find out from uh, about a situation. You feel like there is, there's more that needs to be known. And so maybe this could be creating the rest of the mind for you because it's almost like you know something is not being said or something that um, um, is not being, uh, so maybe someone in your atmosphere is not being truthful to, to this situation. So this is creating some confusion or some aw awareness of, yeah, some, some untactful, untactful behavior. <laughs> Let's have a look, see? The temperance, yeah. This is major arcana for Sagittarius. You could be dealing with Sagittarius. The moon is major arcana for Pisces as well. So this really speaks about, um, you know, uh, there's a belief system here with the temperance. As someone has gone into a mindset where it's almost as though they're quite fixed about what it, it should be. They believe that it should be a certain way. But you're feeling like, you know, maybe this is there should be some changes. Maybe you're wanting to, maybe the enlightenment about some of the things that need to come out might make some changes here. So let's get some clarification. Okay, Libra, let's get some clarification here. The Queen of Pentacles is a Capricorn, Virgo, or a Taurus energy. So this is about security here. This is about someone who uses their intuitive gifts to be able to create finances, stability, sense security. Their concepts of security is connected to their empathic spiritual gifts. They're able to, um, you know, grow using these gifts, you know, gifts, almost like gifts of nature, the patterns, they're able to tap into patterns. So you could be dealing with somebody um, that, um, you know, is a, a war of the mind or a tussle of the mind here, where there's some secrets or there's a belief system that needs to be come to awareness here. The name of swords. This has come out for so many readings. It's like a, a theme. I feel like this is the theme of the the uh, the readings. It's like learning a learning process with the name of swords, like the page of swords. It's learning a process or going for a process. It's also being watched. It's, you know, somebody could be watching your movements, uh, analyzing what you're doing. Um, it could be this uh, queen of pentacles, or you could be looking over a situation, looking to see what um, you know things. What's going to happen next? Trying to decipher the next pattern, the next step in the pattern. Okay, let's get another card here. Okay. Yeah, nine of cups, because you want your happy. And why not? Why not, Lever? You want your happy. So this is what you're trying to do. It's almost as like you've got to do a little bit of a fight, a, a tussle to get to this point of happy which is what is ultimately what you want. Your belief is that things can be okay. Things can be good. If we just make some changes, if we um, reveal some certain things, if we learn a process, if we uh, you know, focus on stability and security, we can gain the sense of happiness together. Okay, let's get some angel cards. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Having fun. It's really good. 
this is uh, much more funner than I expected. <laughs> it's really cool. So thank you for, for entertaining me. <laughs> okay, Libra, let's get some angel cards. Signs and reminders, yeah. This is where you have to go into your intuitive space, just like the Queen of Pentacles, to go into your intuitive space and see the things that you can grow. What is it that, um, what is it that connects you to the things that must grow? You know, what is it, if you're in the search for what is your happy and you understand what your happiness is, you know, this is almost, almost going to be signs and reminders along the way to just keeping that resonance, keeping that vibration of what will make you happy. Let's get another card. Courage and bravery, yeah. This is what this is what happens in some situations. And I feel like Libra, you've got such a graceful way of showing your bravery and courage. You just do it in a way that um, is such an etiquette there. It's never really, um, you know, war of the world. It's more of the, the you know, you have, a, you have this uh, agility with the words, you know how to present the situation in such a beautiful way. But this also shows your courage and bravery. You know how to, do you know, be mutable in each situation and decipher what is need to create balance so everybody can just relax. <laughs> All right, Leva, let's get another card for you. Com compassion, yes. This, this is, I feel like that is another word for Libra, compassion. And this is definitely what Libra strives to do. They have compassion for every situation, even if people are, are not um, very pleasant to them. They have a, a ability to see where things come from, why a person is the way they are, why a person behaves the way they do and projects themselves in a certain way. You have this ability to understand that and to, to bring out um, you know, how they can be balanced in a situation. So what well on you, Libra? Yes. 